I'm here at Honestbury Shooting School today with my friend Clayton here, though he's not going to have a very good day. You see, we're testing shooting glasses. We've got a wide variety of brands from low end right up to the top price bracket, but we're also going to test them against shop-bought sunglasses for about £5.99 each, and hopefully that'll prove how important these things really are. First up is this set of glasses from Costa. Now Costa is a well-known brand within the world of fishing uh, and quite often they come with polarised lenses but these polycarbonate lenses mark a branch into the world of shooting. Let's see how they get on. We mounted each pair of shooting glasses on a styrofoam head 40 yards away and fired a 7.5 cartridge directly at them. The Costa Ansil glasses were struck seven times, which caused cracks but no pellets got past the lenses. Next up is the Evolution Fusion glasses. These come from Sunglasses for Sport, who are a big supplier to the shooting industry. Now these ones, they've got individual lens pieces there that you can take out and replace with different colour lenses. They have black, rose, yellow, clear and many more and you can get them in a four lens interchangeable set. Three pellets struck each individual lens but the Evolution Fusion would ultimately keep eyes safe. This set of glasses is the Vapor model which comes from Wiley X. Now Wiley X were very keen to be involved with this particular feature because they supply glasses to the military and other forces. One thing that distributor Thomas Jack said is that they would like to see us go closer than the 40 yards we said we would be testing them from. But in the interest of fairness, we'll shoot them from the same distance as everybody else. The one piece lens was hit by two pellets and the frame above the center was also hit by two. But the glasses weren't troubled. These were supplied to us by Fairfax Monitoring and they tend to distribute shooting glasses, ear protection, uh, gun slips, that sort of thing, to shooting grounds and shops around the country. Now, you do actually buy these in bulk if you wanted to get some yourself, but they're only £3.10 in a pack of 24, so it represents very good value for money, but will they stand up to the test? The wad may have struck Clayton's neck, but of the eight significant pellet strikes, none made it through. Another quality product from Sunglasses for Sport is the Evolution Chameleon. Now instead of the Fusion, these are actually a one piece frame which goes all the way across but they are interchangeable as well with several different colours on offer. Seven pellets stop when they hit the lens, which makes these the perfect product. These glasses from Browning are another good value product. They have a one piece lens all the way across and uh, they're very durable so you can slip them right into your pocket or into your shooting bag and uh, not have to worry about them falling apart. I wore these most of last year and was pleased to find that the two pellets that struck the centre of each eye went no further. This set of Beretta shooting glasses was supplied by GMK and they seem to have followed the same design principles as a lot of peeler shooting glasses. They have one big lens across the front, a good nose piece, but also this bit that curls around the ear. This means that if you get a big recoiling gun, they're not going to shift from your face. Five pellets caused deep strike to the Beretta race lens but none of them threatened to get through to the other side. Now you might not have seen this brand before. These are known as SportsViz glasses. Now they got in touch with this, they were keen to be involved with the feature, but they're not actually CPSA certified yet. Let's see if they stand up to the test. The lens is a polycarbonate, but the frame clearly needs some structural work before the shooting industry would feel safe with this model. Another pair of popular shooting glasses is the Oakley M-Frame. You'll see a lot of these out on the ground and I tend to use a similar model myself, so I'll be keen to see how these get on. The rubber grip pads at the side of the ears kept the M-Frames in place, despite two impressive pellet strikes that the lens stopped dead. Now this lens was supplied to us by York Guns. It is the lens of the RE range of shooting glasses. It was actually being worn by Mikey Bernand when he was struck by a piece of clay. So they've already proven they're up to the task, but 
Will these things stand up to our test? And while the Falcon Pros didn't stay on Clayton's head, it did stay in one piece with no pellets breaking through. This lens comes from Peeler Sport. Now Peeler, they couldn't actually get the products over to us in time, with delivery being from the US, but these were supplied by Ben Wells at English Sporting Clays, so we thank him for that. These are high-end shooting glasses and they should do well in our test. Struck by 11 pellets with none breaking through, the lens did have the misfortune of being hit by the cartridge wad, but it came away with minimal damage even then. Now of the final polycarbonate lenses, this was supplied to us by Napier of London. It is the System 7000 lens and uh, these are a very popular mid-range price bracket and uh, you'll see a lot of these out on shooting grounds. Again the lens flew off the head but no additional damage took place. The final two we'll be testing is this and this. Now these cool they may be. They're actually uh, UV protection but that ultimately means nothing on a shooting range. Without polycarbonate lenses or structural support the first one piece lens came away from the frame and allowed pellets through. And the second pair of glasses saw pellet holes that would have definitely blinded whoever was wearing them. So we've come to the end of the test now and I'm pleased to say that all the ones that adhere to the CPSA safety requirements pass the test with flying colours. On several of the glasses you can see where the pellets have struck the lens but no pellets have actually made it through to the other side protecting the shooter's eyesight. One thing that we should mention is that we've been firing directly at the glasses. Now on one occasion the cartridge wad actually flew and split one of the lenses but with no pellets actually penetrating the lens to get to the eyes. It's clear to see that you should not go into a shooting ground without the correct shooting glasses.